Now I have made a um, tutorial about uh, a Mercury Bokeh plugin in Google Sheets so you can uh, see uh, when something is updated. So when somebody uh, has uh, made a booking then you can see it with Google Sheets. And when you cancel it you can also see it with Google Sheets. And it is also possible with Fluent Booking with um, the short codes. So when you have an event then you have to edit and then you have to go to the webhook feeds and then you have to um, use the webhook feed. You have to paste the URL. In this case we're going to grab it from Anconi Animator. So this is uh, the particular uh, recipe that I've made and this is the uh, URL, the webhook URL and we have embedded in here with the uh, request URL and of course we also have uh, had go to the settings and we have to uh, use the Google Sheet integrations so that is a step-to-step -step guide and then you have to connect with your Google Sheets and you have to make in Google Sheets um, a new sheet of course and also a page and then you have to uh, add in the headings and I'm going to show you where you're going to grab the headings from so if you go into the webhook once again then you have to choose for post you can also use put patch delete of get we're not going to discuss it now in this moment and you can use for the JSON or the forms so let's just choose for the JSON as you can see you can toggle this on it has no influence on the way we are going to do it but anyway this is what you can do and then once you have done that then you have to run the webhook so um, I have embed the uh, webhook and then I had to toggle on get the samples and this is what you get there are the samples as you can see here there are all um, triggers for the calendar but you have also events but we are not going to use that mm, actually I don't see them right now in here um, but this is all the data that you can use the other thing that you have to uh, keep in mind that is when it is an email then you have to choose for the email in here to fit the data the value type and for the rest you can keep it the way it is once you have done that then you have to go to the actions and we are going to use that particular Google Sheet and this is create a row and don't get confused because the other one is update a row but this is the create row then you go to uh, Google Sheets Google my Google Drive in this case so this is my Google Sheets and this is the particular page that I've made fluent booking and as you can see here on the top it says fluid booking even if it has spelo, spelo, spelling errors doesn't matter and then the worksheet is subscriber and as you can see here it's also subscriber so um, this is the important part and then you have to grab the columns so you say get the columns from the Google Sheets the columns are here on top booking ID, booking start time, booking end time, booking status so uh, when you go in here then you can see booking ID, booking start time, booking end time status and booking cancelled by, it's not so important by I've made it anyway then you have to save the whole thing and don't forget to make it live and also in here this one and this one so all everything must be live otherwise it won't work um, the one thing that's also important is the time zone so when you're going to the settings and then you go into the uh, general settings make sure that you have the right tights time zone so uh, you can choose it in here um, in so if you are living in, uh, in uh, the United States then you choose for the United States if you're living in uh, Canada then you use Canada and otherwise you keep it the way it is by default but when it doesn't work you have to change it so um, let's just see how it works so we are going to delete this particular ones so it won't 
give us confusions. All right, so it's empty now. And when we are going here to the um, booking, so we go to the calendar, calendars, and we are gonna share it. And I have able the landing page. How you can do that? Watch the other tutorials from my friends on YouTube. So let's say Tuesday, 9 November. This time next. The address is Amsterdam, Amsterdam, and we're going to schedule it. And let's see, well, how if it works? Well, it can take a little while if you are not using a fast provider. And as you can see here, the booking start time, the back end time, and it's scheduled. Now the key is not found. It will come later on. I promise you. It and now we are going to cancel it. So we toggle on cancel and let's wait a reason. There's no reason, but we want to give it the reason anyway. And now it's canceled and we wait a little bit. And as you can see here, now it's set, it's canceled. Now it's a little bit double up. So I have to um, go to, conf to the configurations, but uh, it's about the meaning how it works so this is very handy if you have uh, other employees or um, maybe you have uh, a shop I, I, I really don't know why you have what you have but you can use Google Sheets to your employees so they don't have to log into uh, uh, WordPress itself and the most important thing is that you grab the booking ID don't forget that if you don't don't use the booking ID the whole show won't go on so when you go in here and you see it in here the booking id so this is very important don't forget that if you forget that it nothing works and as you can see in here then the value must be matching with the booking id and that's the other thing that you have to do so I, i've toggled on the updates the booking id but uh, anyway, um, that's the way it works. So you can use everything what you want. And it's exactly the same. Well, not exactly, but a little bit like uh, the other tutorial that I've made with Amelia, Amelia Booking. Now, there are uh, a lot of more things that you can do. And the developers are updating this uh, Fluent uh, Booking um, well actually uh, a lot of times so uh, things will be changing and maybe they will integrate with google sheets well not maybe i i'm absolutely sure that they will do that but uh, the way we do it in here with anconi animator there are a lot of more things that you can do so also a whatsapp notification so when somebody books something then you get a whatsapp uh, um, notification and this one is the free one and I also explained that in um, my tutorials. But as you see here with the settings, you can see that they have also uh, Trilio, and that is also the SMS. But Trilio use also the WhatsApp. And when they don't use the WhatsApp integrations, well, we're gonna do it anyway. But uh, we're gonna do it with uh, Anconi Animator or some other tools. And how that works and more, I'm gonna show you that in later tutorials. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.